down under the ground, having to poo. Well, it invented a really neat way. It took the poo and pushed it out around itself into the soft mud. And it slowly expanded and expanded and expanded over the years, all of the poo that it had there. And the worm still lived in the center, going up and down in its own poo. It sounds interesting, doesn't it? Well, slowly and slowly, the climate changed and water started to come down, fresh water, into the side of the river, or into the side of the ocean. And it carried iron in it, really strong iron. So over years, the iron went into the poo and the hemoglobin and changed it into a big lump of iron and it's solidified. So here you have this worm living in its own poo that's turned to solid iron. So it eventually, of course, dies in there. And then over many, many years later, the land changed and these heavy iron pieces, and you'll see one in two minutes, of poo, they weigh so heavy, a piece like that will weigh 20 pounds. It sank down through the mud, and when the Battle River came through, it was washed out of the uh, side of the river, and then went down, and they keep going down, right through the bottom of the, uh, of the river, until they hit bedrock. So the only place you can find it in that whole area is where the bedrock comes just about to the surface. And when I was a kid, I used to walk up to my knees in the water and feel something round underneath. Un and it just didn't seem right. So I took one of them home when I was about nine years old and kept it till I was 70. And my father died and I found it in his garage. So I took it down to Tyrell Museum and said, look at what I found. And they said, ha, that's just a piece of old rock. Go away. So I did. But I thought about it, and I realized it wasn't, so I wrote to the head, and I put a bunch of titles on there, like PhD, Honorable, uh, <laughs> Nobel Prize winner, da-da-da-da-da. He got the letter, and the next day I had a phone call, and he said, will you meet a paleontologist up at the river in two weeks? And I said, yes, so I flew up. We went out to the edge, looked around, and actually found one of these in the dirt, and he was then convinced, and he went to look on the internet and found out that these things appear in only a couple places on Earth. One in Japan, um, and one in uh, somewhere in Africa, and now along the Battle River. But here, here it is. That's, that's the hole in the bottom where the worm goes down, and this is the poo that it makes, and it's solid iron. And uh, the one I had earlier in the day, you could see the worm. It was up about two inches higher than this. But pass this around and feel what it's like to hold 70 million year old worm poo. Thank you very much.